stumbled across the first ever maiden voyage video of a new channel, Getting Nerdy MTG. Today we got a few random vintage packs from an eBay auction I won. We're going to start the day off with a few Scourges. Well, Scourges around 2003. Uh, the, the least exciting of the packs will open today, but let's see how we do. We got a Dragon Fangs, Bone Thorn Valisk, Recuperate, Mercadian Kite, Skull Tap, Scornful Egotist, A Lingering Death, Treetop Scout, Shoreline Ranger, Goblin Brigand, a Noble Templar, Proteus Machine, Thundering Elemental, Hunting Pack, and our rare for this is the Exiled Doomsayer. Crosin Diverger, Raven Guild Initiate, Unburden, a Bone Thorn Valisk, Dragon Scales, Carrion Feeder, Wirewood Guardian, Frozen Shield, Shartooth Cougar, Astral Steel. And now we're seeing the storm mechanic was introduced in Scourge. Uh, basically, the more spells you cast in a turn, the better this card gets. Clutch of Under Undeath. Gilded Light. Tendrils of Agony. Another instance of Storm. Putridge Raptor. And our rare is the Trap Digger. Recuperate. Uncontrolled Infestation. A Divergent Growth. Temporal Fissure. Again with the Storm Mechanic. Misguided Rage. Another Dragon Scales, Rush of Knowledge, Rock Jockey, Avon Liberator, Twisted of Abomination, Sprouting Vines, Pyrostatic Pillar, A Hunting Pack, Mistform War Chief. And a Day of the Dragons. Nothing too exciting with the Scourges. Really wasn't expecting a whole lot with them. Uh, they were kind of a, a nice little bonus for the lot. Just some interesting old cards to open. Nothing hugely exciting. But not every pack's going to be a win. In fact, I should have opened up this whole thing with a disclaimer. Me doing these videos, it's not me trying to say, go buy old packs, you're gonna make lots of money. Truth be told, most packs, you won't. Uh, unfortunately, magic collectibles, like anything else, the vast majority are gonna have not a whole lot of value. Every now and then you get lucky. So far, not today. We've got our Shriek of Dead. Uh, sorry, we are now into Plane Shift. Uh, 2001, we've got a Plane Shift, Shriek of the Dead, Samite Pilgrim, Hull Breach, Volcano Imp, Stone Kavu, A Hunting Drake, A Falling Timber, 
Nightscape Familiar, Daring Leap, Confound, Disciple of Kanji, and our uncommons, we've got a Mog Jailer, a Marsh Crocodile, a Strafe, and our rare is Meteor Crater. Just a land, we can tap it, choose a color of a permanent you control, add one mana of, any, of that color to your mana pool. So it's our mana fixing. On to a Nemesis pack. We've gone back to the year 2000. Let's see if our luck improves. Starting out with a Blastoderm, a Lash Knife, Fog Patch, Wrathy Intimidator, Flowstone Strike, Phyrexian Driver, Air Bladder, Root, Waller Command Root Water Commando, Seal of Fire, Sky Shroud Ridgeback, Fanatical Devotion, and our Uncommons, we've got a Mog Salvage, a Strong Line, Stronghold Zeppelin, Defiant Vanguard, and our Reg. Our rare for this pack is a Core Haven. Uh, add one colorless mana to your mana pool for tapping, or one in a white. Prevent all combat damage that will be dealt by target attacking creature this turn. Okay, last for this video, we have a Mercadian Masks. This is where, if we're going to end up with any value out of this video, hopefully it will be in this pack. Uh, Mercadian Mask from 1999. Our big hitters in this set for the rares are the Rishadon Port. Regular Rishadon Port right now is running at about $60. If you manage to luck up and get a foil, you're looking at about $2,000. Again, highly unlikely, but they do exist. Uh, food Chains. Our other big hitter for this set, uh, with a regular being at around $50, and the foil market value showing about 250 but right now the current lowest listing on TCG player which happens to be the website I use for my pricing uh current lowest listing for the foil is around 700 Got a nice foil island, a thermal glider, hickory woodlot, a cloud sprite, maggot therapy, a lunge, wall of distortion, rushwood dryad. Revered Elder, Tribal Boar, I'm sorry, that is Tidal Boar. One thing y'all will learn about me for uh, probably fairly quickly is my vision sucks. Uh, Muzzle, it's interesting art. I absolutely love the artwork of these old cards. War Cadence. Deepwood Tantiv. And our, we're now in our uncommons. We've got a Panacea. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. And our rare for this set, this pack, is a Blood Oath. For three and a red, 
Choose a card type. Target opponent reveals his or her hand. Blood Oath deals three damage to that player for each card of the chosen type revealed this way. Nope. Unfortunately, no Rishadon ports, no food chains. Better luck next time. Y'all be sure to let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, just bear in mind, this is the first video. I promise I will get better. Y'all have a good day.